Inside that box is something I've been waiting for for about a couple months now. Been trying to get my hands on it and it has finally come in. It came in over the weekend, but I mentioned recently in another video that I just came back from Disney and I mentioned that Mickey Mouse bent me over the barrel and showed me the 50 states. Well, also, I believe he coughed in my face because I think I also got the Disney, the Disney sickness, but now we're back at work. We're better, we feel great, and I am excited because this is something that I've been waiting for bills on. And also, this is something that could be great for the bicycle industry to offer more competition to help the little guys go ahead and get nice, nice things. Let's go ahead and show you what's inside this box. So this right here is another introductory to the wireless 12 speed, 13 speed, 10 speed, 11 speed group sets on the market. And I think it is something game changing for the, oh yeah, I knew our show was gonna probably lose it at that. Game changing though. This is the EDS TX by Wheeltop and it is a, another electronic group set that has come to the market with a pretty affordable price tag for a five piece kit. This thing goes for about 738 euros, but there are some things I wanna go over with you guys before we get so excited here. So we're gonna open up this box. And also I got the disc brake version, but they do offer a rim brake version, which I know a lot of you people have been asking for. But this group set will literally work from a seven speed, an eight speed, a nine speed, a 10 speed, 11 speed, a 12 speed, even 13 speed. But I'm gonna go over the gearing configurations because I don't think it makes sense. But you can literally change that with an app. They come in a cable configuration as well. So if you wanna run a rim brake, you can run this on a rim brake. Let's say you have a eight speed Claris or a nine speed Sora. You can keep your cassette on there with a rim brake and you can buy this for an upgrade and you can have a wireless electronic group set, which is phenomenal. The price point is also insane because if we look at other people on there in the market for a five piece upgrade kit, this is shifters, rear derailleur, front derailleur, um, and then the disc brake calipers as well. Uh, other people would start those off at $2,500 you know, uh, for the top tier stuff. And this is meant to be top tier as well. So let's go ahead and open up this box to see what it looks like. You got a little bit of literature right here. Congratulations, you now have the EDS TX, the smart wireless electronic transmission from the future. Holy cow, download the app, do a bunch of stuff. We don't read directions around here. Um, but this is the first look at it right here. Carbon fiber levers. You can see a little LED light indication right there. Shift down, shift up. You could probably change that configuration. Very small hoods as well, nothing crazy. And again, this is a hydraulic disc brake. This looks like a, an old school 10 speed double tap situation back in the, the future. They do run a mineral oil in, in, uh, inside of here as well. So very, very cool. And I have a build that this is going on. I've just been waiting for it for a while. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it looks phenomenal. You have a little kick out too as well. So it looks a little bit ergonomic. We have here, Charging cable, charging cable. We'll get into all this stuff in just a second, but I want to show you guys it first and open it up. Carbon fiber plating for that, carbon fiber derailleur cage, the battery, and then the charging is here, which we'll talk about the charging as well, but it looks like a really good group set. I mean, phenomenal. And then you have a front derailleur here too, but let's see if I run the front derailleur here. Let's take this off. Again, your charging cables here. So these are your battery packs. They're separate battery packs for the front and rear derailleur. That's why you have two charging cords, but literally you just go ahead and magnetically charge right there. Magnetically charge right there. You guys might be thinking to yourselves, well, isn't that kind of a crap design? Won't that get uh, contaminated with water or shut off or, or fry out? No, these are waterproof as well. You can literally ride and pour in rain and they'll work phenomenally. But yes, so let's get into this group set and talk about this group set about what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this group set first. So first and foremost, this group set, like I said, was sent out to me for free. So take that with what you want, but this is also just an unboxing. I have not ridden this group set yet. I have not tried it out on a bicycle, but in today's video, I'm going to pair it up in the app. We're gonna do a couple shifts here and there on the table. And then in later videos, I'm gonna be doing a build with this on this bicycle that I have coming up. Um, like I said, this is a five piece group set. So the only thing I need to bring to the table is a bottom bracket, a crank, a chain, a cassette, and rotors as well. So. For a whole group set on there for $739, that is 739 euros, that is a really, really good deal in terms of a carbon fiber wireless electronic group set uh, for your bicycle, which is very nice. Also on here, um, which I did notice on the website, which I will have for you guys an answer right now, it seems to be the reason why the price is in euros is because of the fact that 
Uh, they do not ship to United States yet from their website. So we have to figure out what's going on with that. I will have some answers. I'll probably put it down below in the comment section. So check the first comment. It will be pinned right there on the reason why and when it'll be shipping to um, America if they ever will. I know they're pretty much shipping to uh, all in Europe right now. Um, you can get in a bunch of countries that have listed where you want it in there as well. But I'm not the uh, smartest guy, but I'm sure that there's probably patents they have to go through or maybe just distrib distributions as well. So maybe they're just waiting for clearing on there as well. Um, but yes, like I mentioned before, this group set here is $739, 739 euros. They do also offer a rim brake version that is literally boom, 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 boom. And then these are just non-hydraulic, so it's just a cable that goes to your pre-existing rim brake bicycle. And if you didn't want these brakes because you're like, hey, I'm upgrading my 10-speed 105, I'm upgrading my 11-speed 105, and I already have hydraulic disc brakes with mineral oil, you can literally just buy this right here for 669 euros, attach your shifters to your pre-existing hoods, I'm sorry, to your pre-existing cables that are already on there, keep your calipers on your bike, Literally swap out this and this, and it'll run your 10-speed, it'll run your 11-speed, it'll run your 9-speed, whatever you want to do in there, it'll run there. So that is pretty crazy. They also give you inside here for the brakes, your parts to go ahead and probably your barbs and awls if you need to. But mineral oil bleed is just like a mineral oil bleed. It's very, very easy to do so. So everything about this component, from what I've seen, it doesn't seem to have a adjustment on board to go ahead and trim the shifting, but they said the shifting in the app is very, very easy to do. You can see these levers have a good amount of flare out here, um, but it definitely helps to make better contact with your fingers for levers. And the actuation here is very easy. I would say, oh, this one only has one button on here, so we'll have to figure out what's, what's up with that one. That's weird. Maybe for the front derailleur, if you want to shift it, you shift it twice to bring it up and down. We'll figure that out. So front derailleur, one pad, rear, okay. Um, but yeah, very, very cool stuff on there. So they say you get about 20,000 uses per charge in there, which they say is roughly around three to four months of riding or uncharged in there. That's way more than what you need to go over. Definitely, I would say just charge your bicycle every one or one and a half months. It doesn't take much. You literally just plug these right into the wall. We're used to charging things nowadays. It's the modern, it's future, it's 2024. Plug these right into the wall and it pretty much works really, really well. Please use trimmer screw to adjust. You have your adjustment screws probably for a limit screw right here. And, but majority of all the adjustments will do in the app. So let me go ahead and pair these to the, uh, the shifters. And I wanna go ahead and get some crazy shifts on here. <laughs> all right, so this is a look at the app right here. Where you can see here, we have our screen right there. It says, wow. I basically named my groups at wow. Shows you front, the rear derailleur. We have the front derailleur. It also tells you your battery percentage for each one. You have your shifter and your shifter, and it'll also tell you to kind of do your version of firmware updates when you do it. I recommend when getting the group set, going ahead and putting on a charge beforehand. But not only that, you also have inside this app, you can do a, you can go to your settings mode, you can do your variable speed modes, so you can change your speeds on here, you can fine tune your gearing. They also have, to replace your cassette, you can go ahead and choose what cassette you want to go in there. So if you want to do a, a three speed, four speed, nine speed, whatever you want to on there, now for the cassettes version on there, when they say 13 speed on there, the max gear range that you can actually do on the rear derailleur is a 36 tooth cassette and the front is a 53. So keep that in mind. So that's why I don't think the 13 speed will actually work on there, but who knows? You have the initial calibration, usage modes, device shutoff, firmware update, and all that stuff like that. But if you guys can see this right here, this thing that says casual mode. See that casual mode right here above the derailleur? I know I wish I had like some kind of pin pop, but right above the derailleur, it says casual mode. You can actually put it into race mode. And when you do that, it says it's gonna draw more power. But when you do that, it shifts way faster, which I guess is better for racing, obviously. You want it to be more efficient, more slaps. But yeah, that's the app right there. I will also recommend, don't scan the QR code. When I scanned the QR code for mine, it didn't really work in the app store. I just searched wheel top. You can see it at the top there, the wheel top in there. But let's go ahead and- All right, so I wanna show you guys some shift tests tonight. But like I said, I went ahead and scanned this thing. It brought me to the place, like it said, Android, iOS. But when I clicked on clicking iOS to download the app, it didn't work. So just go ahead and search wheel top and it'll bring you right to the app. As well, like I said, put them in charge beforehand because it didn't really find them at first because they had a little bit of a low battery. But it does use Bluetooth, so you just go ahead and scan for it. You find the rear derailleur right away. Um, it works pretty well. The only thing I didn't like about the app is that it asks you for a lot of information. It has to put in your name, your email, um, sex, date of birth, all that stuff like that, um, gender, I mean, whatever it is. 
So, and then you have to make a picture. So I just put a picture of donuts. Um, just a lot of useless information, I feel like, for a group set. So I don't know. But right now it's in casual mode. We have a reader right here. So let's go ahead and shift this thing up. Right now it's in 12 speed mode. And you can see the shifts. And you can hear the front derailleur trimming as well when it needs to. But shifts pretty good. Now for a front derailleur, remember why I said that this is just a paddle right here? I'm like, what's this gonna be for? Basically, it just does exactly what you think it would do. You shift it once for whatever gear you're in. So you have to do click this one a little bit harder. Bring you down, shift, press again. It goes up. So pretty simple. Uh, whichever one you're not in and you wanna get to the other one, you go ahead and press it and it brings you there. So I like that a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into race mode and we can feel the difference of shift. So let's go ahead and see this again. I mean, that shifts pretty quick. This is casual mode. Let's go ahead and try race mode real quick. We have to go back into the app. Now we're in race mode. Race mode is when you don't want to sacrifice anything. You just want pure speed. Let's see if we can notice the difference, ready? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's much quicker. Wow. Like if you slam down like three gears or two gears at once, I feel like it just skips one and just slams it down, which is really cool. But the one thing I'm noticing is that these paddles are backwards. I wonder if I can change that in the app. This one that I'm always used to, which will be like making it easier gear, is making it harder. And this big paddle that I'm used to making it harder is making it easier. So I probably want to shift that around. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You get used to these group sets as is, but really cool. Let's go ahead and press the front trailer. We got to see how this thing shifts. But like I said before, I got brought up to this group by someone I know over in China that rides this group as is. Um, doesn't work for the company, but rides this group set. And he said it's phenomenal. He has it on his bike itself. He's been showing me pictures of it for the longest time. He's like, bro, you need to get your hands on this group set. You'll love it. He, uh, he also watches the channel as well. But he's like, this group set's just been phenomenal. I've really been enjoying it. Get your hands on it. You'll really, really like it. And I think that is a game changer because when L2 first came out with theirs, people were dying for a rim brake version of it. I think this company hit the nail on the head making a rim brake version of this group set. Also that you can just adjust it in the group set to go from an 8 speed to a, a, a 13 speed if you want to is mind blowing. I mean, literally... Now for those people who have an eight speed, like I said, a, a Claris or whatever, and they want even a tourney group set. I don't know if you, if you bought a, a really cheap road bike from Schwinn and you want to put a, a group set like this on there, you can now have the fun time of electronic shifting for your seven speed or eight speed on there, which is really, really cool. So I'm very, very pumped to go ahead and do this. The shifters feel comfortable. The derailers seem like they work really, really well. Um, but again, this is just my first initial impression. I have not rode this group set yet. They seem to be working really, really well. What's really gonna be the test is riding on the road, seeing how it works, because if you guys remember my other Chinese Electron group set, uh, after riding a while and hitting some bumps, I had some mishaps with it. They sent me on a whole new group set, but this one right here with the batteries being external, not having to run any wires in there, all you have to do is run the two brake hoses in there. I'm excited. I'm very, very happy to see. We just have to see how it shifts up and down, but I've seen videos of this thing shifting already. I'm very, very excited. So. Here was what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the link down below of where you guys can find this thing at. Um, if you guys have any questions on this group set, let me know down below in the comment section as well. And you guys will be seeing a follow-up video very, very shortly uh, with me going ahead and putting this on my bicycle. And I'll have a video on that bicycle as well because it's a bike that I've been waiting to debut as well. You can see there, you have the disc brake wheel top. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really cool group set for 740 euros. Um, it feels... It feels very, very nice. It looks premium. Let's go ahead and weigh it before we do anything else. And uh, yeah. All right, so let's just do one last thing before we get out of here. Let's go ahead and weigh this thing. So I'm gonna be comparing to another five-piece kit upgrade, which is like the SRAM Red Axis that compared to the L2, just to give you guys an idea. So this is with battery on here, like I said, all right? Because the other one didn't have the battery on there. Battery on here. 325 grams, 
that's actually really lightweight with the battery already on there. I did a video where I weighed the SRAM Red Axis before without the battery for the rear derailleur. It came at 274 grams without the battery. So that's really competitive in terms of that right there. Let's go ahead and get the front derailleur out now. Let's get this bad boy here. Again, this is with a battery pack on there. 187 grams. And the front derailleur for the SRAM Axis was 146, again, without the battery. So you throw a battery on there, you're right in realm with that. Let's go ahead and weigh, now the, the SRAM axis I did, I did with the brakes. So let me get this on there one second. And these things don't look like the craziest, nicest out there. They definitely feel a little bit chunky. But um, like I said, they're mineral oils, so you can definitely upgrade to something what you want, but they're gonna do the job for sure. Well, actually, I have to know, but usually if you squeeze a mineral oil brake, you know what it feels like. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah. Let's just keep on wrapping this around. Okay, yeah. Don't unravel. Okay. One, two, three. One, six, two, three. Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. 382 grams. Okay. Now, when I did the SRAM red, it was for the front 392. So this is actually lighter than the SRAM Red Axis, because this is much smaller hood. This is definitely the smallest hood I've seen for a hydraulic brake out there on the market. I don't know if you'll like that. I don't know if you'll enjoy that. For me, the Shimano hoods, I've really been enjoying, like on the Altegra and the 105. But um, yeah, I, I definitely, I mean, that's that's a really, really uh, old school style hood right there. And it works pretty good. So let's go put this on here. And this is, Boom. Don't you do me dirty. 340, no, 300 and, no, time out. 398 grams because you have longer hose and the red axis rear was 401. So, I mean, literally spot on for a group set in terms of buying upgrade kit. And like I said, I think this is just better for consumers in general. Competition is key to the point of being a competitive business. We've all been saying this for a long time. Even me as a bicycle store, I would love to see this stuff for me to be able to sell it. I don't know if it'll be possible, but if I could ever get this stuff in my store to sell and it works and they have great customer service, that'd be amazing. Speaking of which, Wheel Top has a two year manufacturer warranty for any kind of manufacturer defects that goes wrong in the group set and a 14 day, no question asked, um, send back return policy. So go ahead and hit them up. They've been in the market for a long time. They've been at a lot of trade shows. I'm sure you've seen them on other YouTube channels as well. But they've been in uh, the mountain bike scene with one by drive trains for electronic group sets. And I am thrilled to get this on there because I'll tell you what, you guys might see my YouTube channel and be like, oh, you get all this cool stuff. Obviously, it's, it's amazing. It's very fun to play with this stuff, to be able to use it, to be able to get it and stuff like that. But the most expensive part about building my bikes up are group sets. And if this becomes more affordable to me as well, I can build more bikes. I can buy more bikes. I can ride more bikes. So uh, I want to do more things with bikes, but group sets are expensive even for my price. So I feel for you guys. But anyways, guys, I'll put a link down below to where you had to go ahead and check out where you can get these things at. Then if you have any questions, you let me know. And then the first comment as well, I'll try to get some information about why they're not shipping to the United States yet. And hopefully I'll have an answer for you on that. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.